In this film we're going to show you the Pico Lineside LK85 flexible field fencing and how simple it is to install on your layout. We will also take a look at the LK86 gates and styles. These kits are part of a massive range of fencing products that Pico produces. There is a fence to suit every situation. Before you start modelling, you need the right tools to do the job, and we recommend the Pico Tools Kit Builders Toolset, the PT200. You will also require polyurethane cement, super glue, and a braddle. We start off with the LK85 four rail fence. Lay out all the kit's components in order to familiarise yourself with its parts. Start by removing all the components from their mouldings. This can be done with a pair of plastic cutters or a Stanley blade. Then take each component and remove any plastic burrs or rough edges from all the kit's parts using a file to clean all the edges. Using the pegs on the rear of the fence, match them up with the holes on the support posts, then glue them in place. You can also join fence sections together by adding the end posts together to form a longer length as required. Although you'll probably want to do this in situ. Then remove all the plastic components and mouldings from the LK86 kit. On this occasion, we will be using the field gate and the signpost for this demonstration. First of all, you want to start by laying out all the fence in position so we roughly know where it's going to go and how it's going to come together. I've already fitted and glued the signpost in place as a starting point. We're now going to take the section of fence with the field gate already attached and put it in position, where we would like it to be. Then using the braddle at the base of each post, I make my first hole into the scenery. You can either reposition each fence post and then make a hole as I am here, or you can measure 35.5 millimeters between each of your hole spacings. As you can see here, it's already starting to follow the contour of my scenery. The next thing we do is we take some super glue and apply it to the base of each post. Then carefully reposition each post back into its hole and push and hold in place until the super glue sets. Once the super glue has set, you can let go and you can see the fence is nicely following the contour of your field or boundary. Now repeat this process length by length all the way along the boundary of your field. Now we're climbing up a sheer embankment, but it's no problem for the flexible fence. Just continue to mark out your holes and fit as you go. As you can see, the fence is almost finished. Now we just need to embellish with some shrubs and some more greenery. Then all you need to do is add your livestock or whatever you want to keep under control. And there you have it, a fence ready for painting, the choice is up to you, and it'll keep all your cows or livestock under control. I hope you've enjoyed this fence kit film from Pico TV, and we look forward to seeing you again on another kit build program in the future.